Ah, crap. I think that damn can is just following me around. Ah, you stupid cat. Will you leave me alone already? Well, here's your nicotine gum, just as promised. Hey, awesome. I can offer you a cigarette and a match in exchange, deal? Deal. All right, here you go then. A cigarette and a match. Thanks, here's your gum. Maybe I'll have some more tomorrow. I better not. I don't think that will work. stink as much as some of the people in here. Maybe even a little more. Yeah, maybe not. I think it's just a different kind of smell. Oh, now I get it. I'm not about to die. The cat was just following the stench of the dead rat coming off the sponge. I don't need you in my inventory anymore. See ya. Well, I'm no expert, but I think I've done a pretty good job. Now for the next step. Something grows, but I'm not holding my breath. I'm not gonna put my hands in there. It's full of wasps. That's it. Get out of here, you damn things, and don't come back. Okay, old pal. Let's hope it works this time. Okay, today is the day. 
let's go to the field. I better not. I did it! I managed to grow something and the crow didn't eat it. Wow! I haven't felt this good since I bought the Godfather box set and it didn't include the third one. This is great! Okay, it's safe to say you passed the test. Congratulations. From now on, you'll be this prison's gardener. Here's the key, as promised. Thanks, Murray. Your kind words flatter me. Hey, uh, could I also be in charge of the woman's wing? You better take this seriously, kid. That key brings great responsibility. Don't forget it. I'll make you proud, Murray. I knew it. That horrible stench could only mean one thing. Fertilizer. Okay, I got the fertilizer. Now I think I should focus on getting some phosphorus, and I know exactly where to find it. I just need a little patience. Like I said, in prison, a man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied. It turns out Randy's favorite hobby was to amass cigarettes and matches, one at a time, day by day. I guess after all he'd been through, Randy decided he'd been here just about long enough. Okay, prisoners, listen up. As you already know, yesterday we welcomed Mr. Randall Hicks to our penitentiary. Nobody knows if he's some kind of tobacco industry mogul or just a guy with a lot of resources. But the thing is that he has several items in his cell that are pretty coveted around here. He's been given some privileges because of his status, so don't forget it. And treat him with respect, okay? Thanks for the lecture, Mr. Turnkey. But I reckon the fact we're all standing here keeping watch on Mr. Hicks's cell shows that we already know he's a man who takes care of his friends. <sighs> well, 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 today's the day. I feel it. I've been locked up in here long enough. Can't help feeling a little sad about leaving this place, though. I've grown kind of fond of this filthy little hellhole. Anyway, time to get some work done. Let's check what we have so far. Soap? Check. Phosphorus? I think 400 pounds of matches are more than enough. Cooking oil? Negative. Pink bismuth? No and fertilizer. Got it already. Well, I guess I need to find a way to get the rest of the stuff. Can't be that hard. I'll just keep the pillowcase and leave the pillow. I'll just keep the pillowcase and leave the pillow. Good morning. Morning, Steve. Any news? Your new shipment of gum and cigarettes just arrived. Perfect. Tell the guys to store it in warehouse number four. But, sir, there's no more room in that warehouse. Well, then work something out. Yes, Mr. Higgs. Got it. Didn't think I'd manage without my dear old trusty duck hanger. I'm not wasting any of my time on Mortimer. What's up, gruel guy? Hey! Hello, Mr. Hicks. How are you doing? 
I'm doing very well, Grohl guy. Very well. So, do you need anything? Of course I do. Why else would I be talking to a nobody like you? Sure. I asked you for something a long time ago, but you just ignored me because I was a nobody at the time. Do you remember that? Well, honestly, I don't, Mr. Hicks. Never mind. The thing is, I've been very patient. I've taken my time, but as you can see, I rule the prison now. I'm the big kahuna in this joint. Of course you are, sir. Everybody knows that. Okay. So now, I want what is mine by law. What? What do you mean, Mr. Hicks? May I have a word about your beloved pink little bottle? You mean this one? Exactly. And if it's got some pink bismuth in it, it's all gravy. Well, it's your lucky day, Mr. Hicks. It says right here, pink bismuth. How did you know? I guess you could say I'm an observant guy, but the only pink stuff I've seen in years is that stupid liquid. I see. You know, I, I keep getting this heartburn. I think it's because of the pig swill they serve here. Yeah. You know, Bruno is not as good of a cook as he thinks he is. If they served us some decent food, I wouldn't have to keep carrying this bottle around. I see. Look, I kind of like you. If I find some kind of healthy food around here, I'll let you know, okay? Thank you, Mr. Higgs. All right, I'm out of here. Oh. I can't reach it. Much better now. Man, I will never cease to amaze myself. Now that this thing is ready, I believe the most sensible choice would be climbing it myself. make it out of here, I swear I'm going on a diet. I'm afraid the cat did not enjoy the shower that much. There you go, my friend. I got you some healthy food. Wow! Thank you, Mr. Hicks. I've been hankering for some non-fried food for years. You're welcome, man. But I guess now you won't be needing that antacid, will you? My pink bismuth? I, I don't know, Mr. Hicks. You know I suffer from long-standing stomach problems. Well, that's why I'm offering you this delicious healthy food. Uh, and I appreciate it. But, um, I, uh... Come on, you know I always look after my peeps, and I never forget a favor. Uh, very well, Mr. Hicks. Uh, keep my pink bismuth. But please, uh, try to bring me some more fruit tomorrow, okay? Uh, tomorrow you won't even remember having this conversation. What? Oh, I said I'll get you a fruit basket in your cell tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hicks. You're the best. Perfect. One more ingredient I can cross off my list. A penny. Looks like that crow deserves to be in jail after all. That little bastard's a thief. So, how's everything around here? Everything's going smoothly, Mr. Hicks. Now that Bruno is here with us, victory is ours. Glad to hear that. That trophy has our names on it. 
as long as there are no last minute changes. You mean it has my name on it? But uh, we are a team, aren't we? No. Okay, man. Take it easy. Huh? We're all friends here. Well, on another note, you got any news? Anything you want to tell me? Come on. You know I like to stay informed when it comes to my prison. Your prison? Our prison, Bruno. There's enough room for both of us here. Hmm. Actually, there's not much to tell, Mr. Hicks. Honestly, you... Don't lie to me, Norman. You know I don't like that. Look, we're 100% focused on the contest. We haven't been paying much attention to anything else. I swear. All right, then. I guess I'll have to believe you. We would never lie to you, Mr. Hicks. Well, carry on with your spitting. I'm out. Bye, Mr. Hicks. Look, if you need anything from us, just ask. Hey, what's on the burner? The last guy who said something like that got crushed like a bug by a bunk. And I believe you, but don't forget who I am. You see, I need some cooking oil, but I haven't seen any around the kitchen. Have you been in my kitchen? Relax, man. I didn't break anything. <sighs> so, uh, what's going on around here? We're training for the spitting contest. What does it look like we're doing? Sure. So, uh, about that oil? I gotta win that contest no matter what. The contest is tomorrow? Of course. What planet have you been on? Oh, sorry. I haven't gotten around to reading my spitting sports newsletter. Um, but if there's something I could do for you, just say so. And maybe in return I could borrow that cooking oil? Hey! Don't cross the line. I hope I don't have to say that again. Easy, Bruno. Easy. <sighs> and, well, yes, there is one thing you could do for me. I need something to measure how far I spit. Each participant has to take his own tape measure to the contest. And I made my cellmate eat mine the other day. See? We can help each other. I happen to have a tape measure right here. I thought it would never come in handy. So, problem solved. Now you just have to give me the, uh... You have a tape measure? That's fantastic. Yeah, but... Give it to me. I wish I could tell you that Randy got the oil immediately after that. I wish I could tell you that. But prison is no fairy tale world. So, can you give me the oil now? No. Now comes phase two. What's phase two? That's the part where I open my heart to you and talk about my darkest fears and worries. Once we're done with that, one or two things can happen. What things? Either you laugh at me and I kill you, or you help me with the damn spitting contest. Are you going all sentimental on me? Okay, I'm all ears. You see, I guess you heard that I'm unbeatable when it comes to the noble art of spitting. I might have heard a little something about that, yeah. Let me tell you a secret, kid. I was good in the past. I was the best. But the years take their toll. And unfortunately, I'm not as good as I used to be. But if I'm honest, I'm not ready to give up my belt yet. Not just yet. And that's why I need your help. In return, I'll give you that key to the oil cupboard. Deal? Okay, Bruno. Deal. What do you want me to do? I need three things to be as good as I was. Strength, wisdom, and luck. Strength, wisdom, and luck? Don't take this the wrong way, Bruno. But this is starting to sound like a Dungeons & Dragons game. That has nothing to do with it. So you better start taking things seriously, you hear me? Fine, fine. Tell me about the strength. You see, I'm not the mountain of a man I once was. I've lost a lot of strength, so I need someone to get me back in shape. And that someone is me? Exactly. But my spit is hardly more than a dribble. Uh, kid, how long have you been in here? Well, honestly, after so many space-time loops, I have no idea. Uh, you got here yesterday, and you're like the boss already. That's kind of debatable. I can see it in your eyes, kid. 
You're gonna be my coach. All right, you know what? Let's do this. Great. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll start right away. What do you mean by wisdom? Well, you know, uh, uh, wisdom. Yeah, that's a little vague. What exactly do you mean? Well, you see, some years ago, there was this guy that was a little, let's say, special. They ended up transferring him to the psychiatric wing because, well, because he was special. So what's the problem? They transferred him back here this morning. Oh, is, is he, like, dangerous or something? Should I be worried? Eh, not really. The guy used to be the best spitter I've ever seen but he was automatically disqualified when they threw him in with the freak shows. But now he's back. And uh, if you want to know the truth, I think that bastard can outspit me, even with the luck potion and all my training. I see. Well, uh, okay, but I think you might have the wrong idea about what wisdom means. I don't think so. Uh, okay, so tell me about that luck thing. Since I was a kid, good luck has always been on my side. I've always considered myself a lucky guy. You do remember where we are, right? Shall I remind you that if you interrupt me again, you won't live to tell this tale? Okay, okay. Go on. I've always felt like this positive energy running through my veins. Are we talking about hard drugs? Hey, my patience has a limit. Sorry. Boy. A few weeks ago, a crow came to visit me. Oh, that was probably just Jake. No, it wasn't Jake. I'm pretty sure it was Jake. It wasn't Jake! The crow I saw had three eyes. Uh-oh. Winter is coming. Why the hell are you talking about the weather now? Shut the hell up and listen! I don't want to have to tell you again. Fine. Where was I? Uh, oh, all right. Since the day I saw that crow, my good luck has abandoned me. I keep burning the food. My portable TV broke, along with the springs in my bunk. So I need you to cook up a batch of extreme luck potion so I can put an end to this nightmare. It's this concoction my grandma used to make when things started going wrong. Fine, I'll do it. I'm actually very good at mixing stuff together. I gotta go. I'm not taking that anywhere. Hey, what do we have here? A genuine four-leaf clover. How's it going, illusionist? Pretty well, Mr. Hicks. I hope you're having a good day. All my days are good, Martin. All my days are good. Would you like to see a magic trick, Mr. Hicks? Sorry, but I'm a little busy right now. Maybe later, okay? Of course, sir. No problem. I, uh, wanted to talk to you about your magic box. Sure, sir. Would you like to see a trick now? No, uh, that's not it. I don't understand. What is it, then? I want the box, Martin. Please, Mr. Hicks. This box is all I have. I can't just give it away. Oh, Martin, Martin, Martin. You know that if you make me say that again, you're gonna spend the night in the infirmary. And I don't want that for you. Do you, my dear friend? No, Mr. Hicks. I don't want to spend the night in the infirmary. All right, very well then, Martin. So? Here. Here's the box. Thank you. This is very kind of you. Please, take good care of it, Mr. Hicks. Of course, no worries, okay?
What's up, Murray? Mm, not much, you know. Just here keeping my eye on things. That's my Murray. With you here, I feel safe. I'm only doing my job. By the way, anything new around here? Not really. Just the usual. I see. Although everyone's been talking about you today. You're quickly becoming very popular around here. Thanks, Murray. But it hasn't been all that sudden. Days can feel like years in here. Listen, I know that the idea of being popular in here is tempting, but let me tell you something. If I were you, I'd try to keep a low profile. People here are dangerous, and they tend to envy others, especially the ones with power. Thanks, Murray. I'll bear that in mind. Any news from the outside world? The outside? People are just going crazy. Today, for instance, a boy about your age killed himself. Yep, vacuumed out his own brains. They say he walked around for four minutes before he died. Yeah, creepy. Are you serious? I'm always serious. And then there's the homeless problem. Every day there are more and more homeless people around, and they all seem to look exactly the same. Don't you think it's probably just the same bum hanging out in different alleys every day? Ah, uh, how should I know? Not my jurisdiction, not my problem. Well, looks like everything's more or less the same around town, huh? Believe me when I tell you, it's not that bad in here. Well, that cheers me up a little. But then I remember that I'm locked up in the slammer and that brings me down again. Thanks anyway. You're welcome. I'm out of here, Murray. I'll see you around. No way. this elixir uh, I don't know you don't know then how am I supposed to make it I, I thought you might come up with something you know you're the brains and I'm the muscle I thought we'd establish that if you say so so uh, what else can you tell me about your grandma's recipe it was a secret recipe you're not helping me here come on kid I'm sure it's not that hard you just need to get a load of different lucky charms together and make a potion with them. It's really simple. What about a horseshoe? I remember seeing one of them around here somewhere. See? <laughs> yeah, that's a spirit. <laughs> Piece of cake, huh? Well, I don't know how that magic potion is going to taste, but oh, what the hell. I'll give it a try. You know what to do, kid. Look for some objects that bring good fortune and mix them up all together. By the way, I'm lactose intolerant. Okay, so no extreme luck milkshakes then. Trust me, Bruno, it doesn't mean what you think. Whatever. That Alan is a total prick. I just gotta beat him. Wait a minute. Did you say Alan? The very same. The living legend. I don't stand a chance against him. It's hopeless. But Alan? The guy who has split personalities and wears a tutu? That's right. Now I get why he was sent to the psychiatric wing. Well, we released him yesterday. So he's back again. And he's gonna be in the contest. That damn bastard. <sighs> I'm done. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. You're intimidated by a guy in a tutu? I feel a giggle spell coming. <laughs> I want that asshole out of the equation. Uh, you mean... You mean you want me to eliminate Alan? Well, you're the one who said that, not me. But, uh, I wouldn't mind. But why don't you just do it yourself? I mean, come on. You're the most feared prisoner in here. Just send him to the infirmary and problem solved. Nah, it's not that easy. Everybody knows he's the only one who can beat me in the contest. If I make a move on him, I would be instantly disqualified. Oh, I haven't spent the whole year training to be kicked out at the last minute. All right, all right. 
I'll see what I can do, but I'm not promising anything. Hicks, I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. I'll do my best. That's the spirit. Your training starts right now. Perfect. What do you have in mind? Well, um, hmm. How about I chuck on some 80s classic hits and you, uh, I don't know, do something. I'll just supervise and nod along. I like that. Um, you remember Ivan Drago from Rocky? I want you to think that that's your opponent, or else this'll all be in vain. You got me all hyped up. Let's do this. you feeling? Ah, uh, better than ever. Like I can spit on the world. Wow. And in less than a minute, I'm good. Best spent minute ever. I feel strong as a bull. Although maybe the bull hormones I took a while ago have something to do with that. Bull spit. I like it. Well, it was totally worth it. I agree. say you're a superstitious man? Well, I don't know. Uh, yes and no. What? Murray, are you or aren't you? Well, I don't believe in the paranormal stuff, but sometimes I feel something strange within me. I don't know how to explain. You mean yes? No, that's not it. It's just that uh, sometimes... Knock it off, Murray. I don't care about your stinking guess. All I want to know is if you're one of these guys who has some kind of lucky charm. Sure I do. I have a rabbit's foot. It's always brought me luck. Really? Well, no. But I like having it with me. It's like a part of me. Sure. Why do you ask? Oh, uh, no reason. I guess you don't have anything else on you, right? I never bring valuable stuff to work. It has a habit of just mysteriously vanishing. Vanishing, huh? Hey, Murray, would you like to see a magic trick? I can make anything disappear, just like that. Really? I love magic tricks. Perfect. Uh, let me get ready and I'll call you, okay? Oh, you're really gonna love this, Murray. Really. I'll be here, wait. I'm out of here, Murray. I'll see you around. So, are you ready to get your mind blown? I'm always ready for some magic. All right. So, what are you waiting for? Give me your rabbit's foot. Huh? Oh, sure. For the magic trick. Here you go. You need to pay more attention, Murray. Ta-da! Unbelievable! That was absolutely amazing! Uh, where is it? It just vanished! Great job, boy. I knew you'd love that, Murray. Now, if you'll just excuse me, I have to go. Uh, what? Uh, what do you mean you have to go? Uh, aren't you gonna give me my rabbit's foot back? Oh, that's gone. Gone where? Uh, I thought that, uh... Murray, come on. Can't let you behind the curtain. I'll just leave it to your imagination. Oh, uh... Okay, see ya. 